On the news tonight, Tinumbu threatens to arrest Nigerians in diaspora. APC Binani's ails INEC for declaring Adamawa governorship election inconclusive. DSS should arrest Keyamo, not Peter Obi or Aneze in the bowl. And to sport, Iwobi says Nigeria will bounce back after the shock loss to Guinea-Bissau. Now the news in detail. Mr. Bola Tinumbu, the president-elect, has threatened to arrest Nigerians within and in diaspora, suspected to be working to truncate his mandate after he was controversially declared the winner of February 25th presidential election by the Independent National Electoral Commission. The threat is coming after he raised the alarm over plots by some aggrieved oppositions to scuttle the transition process particularly is expected swearing in on May 29th. Bola Tinumbu spoke through his Director of Public Affairs and Minister of State, Labor and Employment, Mr. Festus Kiyamo, also won the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Aubakar, and that of the Labor Party, Mr. Peter Obi, against taking the streets while also pursuing their cases in court. Part of the statement read was simply wish that peace reigns in the country, it does not make sense that some persons who should know better are encouraging violence and are so determined to achieve that. Going on to the next story from Adama Aisha Tubinani, the All Progressive Congress governorship candidate in Adama, says March 18th election was marred by violence and rigging, commending the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, for declaring the election inconclusive. My position is that the INEC rep did very well by declaring the result inconclusive and my reasons are simple, Mrs. Binani said. Whoever saw or mentioned or monitored the election of Adamawa State knows that the election was marred with violence, rigging, overvoting, and all manner of irregularities. The figures that were the polls were really, as far as I'm concerned, concocted figures. Mrs. Binani, a seven senator for Adamawa Central, disclosed this in an interview with Channels TV on Friday. Going on to the next story. I think uh, uh, Rick did very well by saying it's an uh, inconclusive, uh, declaring the result inconclusive. And uh, my reasons are simple. The election whoever sees or monitored the election of Adama states knows that the election was marred with violence, rigging, over voting, and all, uh, all sorts of manners of irregularities. So the, the figures that were, that, were, that were deposed was really, to me, as far as I'm concerned, they were concocted figures because... Um, some of the ballots, some of the, if you, if, if one should really dig out, you'll find out that some of the beavers, I believe, if the beavers accredited only 10 people, you'll see that you'll find out that the, uh, over 30 people must have voted. So that is part of irregularities. So the only way to, 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 for, for the wreck, to come out clean is to declare that result inconclusive because the, 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 the commission the commission have the powers that within seven days to, to look at it to review the to, to review the declaration and, and return where the where the, to review the declaration where the commission feels that the declaration was not made in or the declaration was made under due a chief ten of Arnese Indigo. Okay, Chiku Iziguzoro on Friday called for the arrest of the Minister of State and Labor Unemployment, Festus Kiyamo. Iziguzoro accused Kiyamo of trying to inflame those calling for an interim government to prevent the swearing in of the president elect, Bola Tinobu. The Secretary General of Oaneze made the call while responding to Kiyamo's letter asking DSS to arrest Mr. Peter Obi of the Labor Party presidential candidates. Izeg Kozero said Kiyamo was trying to burn down Nigeria by calling for Obi's arrest over alleged inflammatory remarks. Speaking with Daily Post, Izeg Kozero said Kiyamo wants to burn down Nigeria. 
any action that would inflame the country's heightened tension should be discouraged. Going on to the next story. A Labour Party aspirant in the upcoming governorship primaries in Imo State, Chief Alfred Anodu, has been found dead in his house. The aspirant died in his house in Lagos, according to the Nigerian Tribune, after he had turned, returned from an LP meeting at the party national headquarters in Abuja on Friday. A native of Imbiri, Asian Kingdom in Imbi, Toli, local government area of Imo State, Anodu, was reportedly found dead in his house in what family sources described as a spiritual attack. As a multi-billionaire businessman come politician, he has been contesting for governorship seats of the state since 1998. He was said to be the true winner of the People's Democratic Party primary in the state in 1998, before the ticket was ceded to Achike Odenwa, who went on to rule the state between 1999 and 2007. Since then, he had been contesting for the number one seat of the state. In 2019, he worked with the Zenith Labour Party governorship candidate, a close friend of the disease, said that he died around 5.30 p.m. on Friday. And to the next story from Benue. The Benue House of Assembly member-elect for Boko West State Constituency, Mr. Aondona Dajo, has been attacked and his vehicle raised. He is, however, safe as he was said to have escaped lynching by the attackers. Correspondent gathered that the member-elect was attacked by unknown persons at Giado Junction in Boko, local government area of the state, on Thursday evening. According to sources, the attackers came in their numbers and descended on him, but he abandoned his car and ran for his dear life. The source said Dajo was on his way home when the incident happened. When contacted, the Benue State Police Command confirmed the incident. The police public relations officer, SP Catherine Anene, in a text message on social media said, attack on Aundun and Dajo is confirmed. From Benue, we go to the next story from Kaduna. Terrorists in Kaduna have reportedly killed Reverend Musa Meirimi, the minister in charge of Airport Church, Buddha II Kasua Magani in Kaduru, local government area. Kaduna chairman of Christian Association of Nigeria, Can, Reverend Joseph Ayab, confirmed the incident on Saturday. He said the attackers invaded the community on Thursday after killing the cleric. They also abducted his wife, while over 100 people were abducted from different parts of the state were released. Going on to the foreign story. At least 23 people died as violent storms and at least one tornado ripped through the U.S. state of Mississippi tearing off roofs and flattened neighborhoods, officials and residents said Saturday. The Southern State Emergency Management Agency said at least four people were missing and dozens were injured, while tens of thousands of people in Mississippi, Alabama and Tennessee were without power. At least 23 Mississippians were killed by late last night violent tornadoes. We know that many more are injured. Search and rescue teams are still active, Governor Tex Reeves said on Twitter. To end the world news is the sports story. Everton midfielder Alex Iwobi promised that Nigeria will bounce back after suffering a shock 1 0 home loss to Guinea Bissau on Friday in Africa Cup of Nations qualifier. It was one of the biggest upsets in the history of the competition as Mama Balde scored for the Wild Dogs, who are 81 places below the Super Eagles in the FIFA World Ranking. As players and staff, we know we have to react to these results, said Iwobi, one of Premier League's stars in the starting lineup. All we can do is improve, and to the fans, all I can say is that they should stick by us and support us because we give 100% not just for ourselves, but also for our nation. Before we go on the world news tonight, the major headlines. Tinumbu threatens to arrest Nigerians in diaspora. APC Binani ails INEC for declaring Adamawa governorship election inconclusive. Our next story, DSS should arrest Kayamo, not Peter Obi or Aneze Indibo, declares. Finally, on sport, Iwobi says Nigeria will bounce back from the 1 0 shock loss to Guinea Bissau. For more updates of our broadcast on YouTube, the handle is BGI TV Current. Kindly subscribe and click on the notification bell. Select option all to access our broadcast. 
For other placement of your goods and services, coverage of events and functions, please dial the phone number streaming on your screen for advert placement only. Good evening, I am Morire Rebila Lawal. Audio Jungle Audio Jungle